Racetam is undoubtedly one of the most popular nootropic drugs available and belongs to the Racetam's group of smart drugs. Now, Paracetam is synthetically derived from the neurotransmitter GABA, and Paracetam is seen as one of the original nootropic drugs, although not the most potent. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas, the founder of Boost Your Biology. And if you've been enjoying these videos, please hit that like button down below and smash subscribe to stay up to date with the latest and greatest health research. So Paracetam was formulated more than 50 years ago in 1964, making it one of the first nootropics on the market and definitely one of the most well studied. It is used by people of all ages, although research shows that the elderly are more likely to benefit from Paracetam. Now, if you do a quick scan online and you type in most well-researched nootropics on the market, or you look up uh, nootropics associated with biohacking, you will see that Paracetam or Paracetam has been mentioned numerous times in many blogs and articles and many well-known biohackers including Ben Greenfield, Dave Asprey and other health experts and leaders have spoken about the benefits of Paracetam to improve cognition and verbal fluency. Now, over the last four decades, Paracetam is under the brand name Nootropal and has been extensively studied and is currently approved for use in over 100 countries. Now, bear in mind, if you do want to purchase a high quality Paracetam, you will see that linked down below in the video description as I've got a brand new source of Paracetam that is highly potent and is one of the original brands. So you'll see that linked down below in the video description. What actually is Paracetam? Well, Paracetam is very well studied and is oftentimes used to treat dementia, Alzheimer's disease and dyslexia amongst other neurological disorders. Now, it is believed that as a brain booster, paracetam is a nootropic that boosts brain function and improves focus, memory, alertness, and concentration. Now, unfortunately, there are not a lot of research studies on the effects of paracetam on young, healthy people. However, there is quite a lot of research on the elderly individuals, especially those suffering from dementia schizophrenia, and other forms of neurodegeneration. So what have people said or noticed about using Paracetam? Now, this was simply just an anecdote, and I pulled this from Reddit, and obviously this is not a strong form of evidence, but it gives you some insight into what people notice. So this person said, hey, I've been using or taking Paracetam for five years now, and during this time, I learned a lot of interesting things. The effects included verbal fluency, mild hypomania, increased mood, motivation, energy, and also improved long-term as well as short-term memory. I've been taking it for five years now, and I can say with confidence that my life has changed completely. I am not at all like my former self, feeling like you have become a different person. So obviously a really you know positive review from Paracetam. Again, not all people are going to respond in the exact same way. And this is simply N equals one. So simply just one person's response to Paracetam. Hey guys, if you're watching this video right now and want to unlock your full mental and physical potential, then the Limitless course is for you. Unlock my best biohacks for energy, motivation, and testosterone optimization so that you can conquer your goals with ease and crush every day with confidence. Click the link in the description and get it now for only $27 today. All right, now let's get straight back into the video. So how does Paracetam work? Now we can see this study here was titled Paracetam, an old drug with novel properties. And they mentioned that Paracetam is an agent with antithrombotic, neuroprotective, and rheological properties. The interaction of this molecule with the membrane phospholipids restores membrane fluidity and could explain the efficacy of paracetam in various disorders ranging from dementia and vertigo to myoclonus and stroke. Now, paracetam works by increasing the effects of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, which is responsible for memory, sensory perception, learning, and muscle development amongst other effects. Now, it increases the effects of this neurotransmitter at the receptors, thereby increasing its effects. Now, paracetam might work differently for different people, but the results are almost the same. Increased memory in the long run, as well as alertness, creativity, and mental clarity. So we can see some of the possible consequences of restored membrane fluidity associated with paracetam usage. We can see on the left-hand side the neuronal 
outcomes associated with paracetam, including enhanced neuroplasticity, restored neurotransmission, neuroprotection, anticonvulsant action. And from the vascular side, we're seeing a decrease in the adhesion of, eth- of erythrocytes to cell wall, which are basically blood cell, uh, red blood cells, and a reduction of vasospasm. As a result, we see improved neuronal function and improved microcirculation. So here's a snapshot of some of the studies that I came across looking at paracetam. First one was titled, Profound Effects of Combining Choline and Paracetam on Memory Enhancement and Cholinergic Function in Aged Rats. The second study was titled, Paracetam and Dyslexia, Effects on Reading Tests. Next one was titled, The Memory Enhancing Effects of Paracetam-like Nootropics are Dependent on Experimental Parameters. A controlled trial of paracetam in intellectually impaired patients with Parkinson's disease. Paracetam, an overview of its pharmacological properties and a review of its therapeutic use in senile cognitive disorders. Long-term and high-dose paracetam treatment of Alzheimer's disease. Paracetam, or the effect of paracetam on recovery and rehabilitation after stroke, a double-blind placebo-controlled study. Next up, we have paracetam and other structurally related nootropics. Paracetam is useful in the treatment of children with sickle cell disease, a new tropal in the treatment of disorders of the higher mental functions in patients with ischemic stroke, treatment of acute ischemic stroke with paracetam, and paracetam relieves symptoms of progressive myoclonus epilepsy. And we're also looking at all the other studies here, which encompasses paracetam's highly neuroprotective effects and preventing cognitive impairment and cognitive decline. So we're seeing some pretty outstanding research on paracetam. Now, some of these side effects associated with paracetam include at very high doses and although rare and usually only lasting a few days, are limited to anxiety, insomnia, drowsiness, headaches, and agitation. Now, it actually may be safe for up to 18 months in humans at doses of 3.2 grams daily with one year long study in ambulatory patients with Alzheimer's disease using eight grams daily, reporting no side effects. So we can see the different dosage range for paracetam. We can see a threshold dose looking at 250 milligrams to 500 milligrams. A light dosage of paracetam is considered 500 milligrams to two grams. The common dosage is two to three grams. A strong dosage is three to five grams and a heavy dosage is five grams plus. Now, the total duration of the effects are roughly four to eight hours, and the onset is about 30 to 90 minutes. So it's a pretty rapid onset of effects. I wanted to continue sharing an anecdote. Again, N equals one, not a highly reliable data point to assess the efficacy of paracetam, but sharing someone's experience can also help to highlight some of the effects which you may encounter. So number one is this person noted the ability to process three conversations simultaneously and speak to everyone in turn. Now, people were blown away by this effect that this person noticed. Um, and he says that this is an extreme party trick that makes you look like a genius. I pulled off conversation tricks that if I saw in a James Bond film would have made me scoff and roll my eyes at the unrealisticness. Reports on forums of multilingual people have mentioned the ability to talk in three languages to three people at the same time. That's the sort of thing that gets you a job at an embassy. You can instantly convey ultra social skills and demonstrate massive value to a group of people in seconds when using paracetam. Very interesting conversations can be generated. I recall interesting ad relevant articles I have read better than before. I link seemingly unrelated concepts in totally original ways for a memorable and interesting discussion. Reading research papers becomes really fun and he wants to learn everything except cold hard maths and science, unfortunately. There was increased language processing and confidence. There was a general moved uh, improvement in mood. So with all drugs, this is risky as it Im- implies a come down, but there is effectively no depression or come down following paracetam usage. Now he says that he doesn't take it as a mood enhancer and the idea of taking drugs in the long term for happiness is a bad idea, he believes. And amphetamines are a terrible idea, but paracetam is okay to take in the long term. He also mentioned that music sounds better on paracetam and then he says he dances in public and shakes his hips and laugh. I danced on a table in a library the other day and to some music in my head. And then he also mentioned that there was an unprecedented godlike confidence, but that is totally controllable. So as you can see, paracetam's effects are pretty broad spectrum 
And it really is the OG, the original nootropic drug. Um, and there is a lot of you know glowing reviews on Paracetam online. So bear in mind, if you do want to purchase Paracetam, you will see that linked down below in the video description if you want to get your hands on Paracetam and experiment with that. But otherwise, hopefully you learn something new. And if you've had an experience or you've used Paracetam, uh, please drop a comment down below. Let's get a discussion going. If you've played around with some of the other racetams on the market please do drop a comment down below let's get that discussion going otherwise thanks so much for tuning in i look forward to seeing you in the next video